to sustain new requirements for radio, architectures and network densification, transport networks need to make a paradigm shift. How optical technology can help in that process has, was highlighted today in the market focus by Ericsson's Antonella Sanguinetti. Antonella, thanks for joining us on ECOC TV. Tell us in your view some of the main points of why optical technology is so important to that process. Oh yeah, of course. It's not only 5G, it's also the evolution of the 4G networks. We have seen that in this paradigm shift there will be you know, challenges with connectivity because the densification of the radio then will require new transport connectivity. And then also capacity is exploding. So we don't know at which extent yet, but for sure we need to, to create transport networks that can sustain the evolution of the radio in both directions, you know, connectivity and capacity. Optical, provide, whether it is WDM or it is grey, IC, provides a really an easy way to evolve uh, the optical infrastructure that is already there without the major changes into the network. So just a, a normal evolution. Uh, I like the idea that optical you know, increases in speed uh, you know, and in capacity so that you can just uh, reuse the optical infrastructure that you are there with the new speeds and uh, you know, following uh, the, the grow of the radios. And do you think we're moving in the right direction at the moment? I mean, having seen what, is, uh, what I've seen here today at the ECOC, uh, I definitely think so. I think that the optical vendor got uh, the message that uh, we as uh, industry and uh, operators uh, are asking for to have, uh, you know, optics with the right requirements uh, at the right cost. Then, of course, it's always a balance between volumes, uh, you know, and, and cost. This is something that we uh, as an industry... and. Uh, the, the, f the 5G markets uh, is still very fragmented because uh, there are still so many options on how to build a network that is difficult to find a pattern and uh, to shift the, volume, the volumes there. But for sure what I see here is that uh, the requirements have been received. And, uh, and so they are coming out with technologies that uh, are not the terabyte which, uh, because are not needed, uh, but uh, the optics that can really be used uh, together with our radios. So the answer is yes. And is the answer yes to, are we actually doing it fast enough? <laughs> fast enough is not, it's never enough, it's never enough fast. Um, industry is going very fast, and, uh, but on the other hand, the 5G is not a revolution, it's an evolution. So it, the most important is to find really the spot point between cost and performances. So, so I think we are going at the right pace uh, to do a conscious uh, design of the network. It's the overall network that we need to think about. It's not just uh, of the optical evolution or uh, the radio evolution. They really have to go together. And uh, my, the experience that I have is that uh, really we, we, we are going into a shift uh, of also, you know, how the radio grows with transport. So, yes, we are going in the right direction at the right pace. That sounds great. Thank you very much for talking to us today. It was a pleasant, ple pleasure for me to be here. A lot of interesting discussion, a lot of uh, good news that I've heard here in, at the booth. So thanks uh, for setting this up.